Uh, thank you very much for the chairman. It's a very sorry for a very long introduction for me. Uh, thank you. Uh, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good morning, friends. I, I uh, first of all, I am very honored to be here to share with you uh, my uh, part of my work. It's uh, the late time you know from back to me in Vietnam. I can tell you about a little bit of uh, my experience. Uh, first of all, I want to share you a very, very familiar um, the map, the stroke, especially in Southeast Asia, you know. And you can see the Southeast Asia is the most, uh, the most place for the heavy burden for a stroke. And you, know, you, can, um, you can see referred to my, my best friend in Singapore, Professor Romani, and thank, uh, thank, thank you uh, him to put Vietnam at the top of the uh, uh, incident of stroke. Is uh, what 220 over 100,000 uh, uh, population, and uh, unfortunately we don't have uh, exactly the number of the stroke uh, patient in Vietnam. Uh, but you can refer is only my center. It's a single data from my center. Uh, it's uh, increasing by year. And 2019 we have about approximately about uh, 14,000 uh, acute stroke coming, and uh, and last year we have nearly uh, 2,000 uh, acute stroke coming. This is a big number. And how about the contamination therapy? Usually we have absolutely uh, 1,000 uh, cases with the uh, TBA. And, and uh, we uh, come to, together with uh, friends in uh, Singapore and Thailand, we, uh, we work with um, um, with the Medtronic sponsor, we do uh, the proxy trial. In the first uh, uh, trial, we, uh, we collect the data for thrombectomy in you know, zero to six to eight hours in uh, South Asia. It's uh, because it's, uh, we, so far, we have the, the lack of the data and the outcome of megatectomy in treatment in stroke population in South Asia. And in Hermes meta trial, including five a clinical trial is only three subjects were enrolled in uh, from one Asian country. That's why we need the data from Southeast Asia for this uh, treatment. Uh, we uh, study population is the patient is acute ischemic stroke uh, due to uh, large vessel occlusion within eight hours uh, after the onset, and it's included in Vietnam, Thailand, and Singapore. The sample size up to one hundred and eighty three. Uh, patient and study size is a prospective multi center, non randomized, and observation registry. And the end point is we, uh, we're looking for the modified ranking 0 to 2 at uh, 90 days. And the safety end point we are uh, looking for uh, the symptomatic intral hemorrhage at uh, 24 hours and all of mortality at after uh, 90 days and uh, E and T at uh, 24 hours. Uh, for symptomatic hemorrhage, we require when the patient works in more than four pawn and missed score, and together we're finding uh, intracranial hemorrhage on CT scan or MRI. And the death is with, with uh, we define it all of the subject death that may or not may be due to a neurological lesion. This is the result, we uh, include in 183 patients. And most of them is M1, M, uh, M1 occlusion, about 62%. If you compare with Permax, about 69%. And ICA occlusion is 15% compared with 21% in Permax. And M2 is uh, 17% uh, compared with 8% in Permax. And the baseline is score is 16 compared with 17, and expect about 8 compared with 9 in Permax. The primary outcome is modified ranking 0.2. In proxy is uh, 62%. The patient uh, got the modifying thing 0 to 2 after 3 months, compared with Hermes is uh, 46%. And you can see all of the, all of the, uh, all of the percent that the patient is modifying thing 0, 1, or 2 is a, is a trend better for Hermes uh, metallysis. How about safety? We're looking for the safety because it's a South Asian. Maybe, maybe the risk of hemorrhage is higher than the Western country. But uh, we, we see that the, the trend higher uh, the cinematic hemorrhage in the proxy is about 7.6% compared with 4.4% in Permax. 
And uh, but it's a not significant, not but not the effect on the mortality because the mortality in first day is about 7.6 percent. It's lower than the 15 percent in the urmex. Uh, for proxy conclusion, we conclusion is the proxy is the largest study involving ischemic stroke patient in Southeast Asia country, resulting in high rate uh, functional and procedure outcome and low rate of mortality. Uh, for clinical procedure and uh, safety outcome and proxy are comparable with data from uh, Hermex trial. Uh, if you're looking for the, the data from registry in my hospital, this includes uh, in six, about nine months in my hospital, it includes in about 6,600 patients. And you see the median time of stroke onset is about 16 hours. So that's the question, if you, if you cannot extend the time window, a lot of patients you miss the, tri the, the treatment. And you see only 12% only of patients come with us in four and uh, three hours. And uh, so that's why the intravenous thrombolysis is now only around less than 10%. And you can see the time for admission in my hospital. You can see 20, less than 25% patients come in to zero to six hours. And if we can extend time window until to 24 hours, we have more, about 40% more. It's more candidate for thrombectomy. Uh, what we learned from Durham Dawn and Diffuse 3, if you can stand the time window, with perfusion imaging, you can save the patient uh, significant. And that's why from 2019, we changed the protocol and we have rapid imaging. And uh, we in case indication from back to me for workup stroke and six to 24 hours patient with a mismatch DWI and DWI. It's a rapid, rapid uh, MRI or CD scan. It's a very, very uh, amazing, uh, very well amazing because it's very easy to decide the patient is candidate for to back to me or not. And so the protocol for us from to 2019, the CT scan, CT angiography, or CT perfusion, MRI perfusion, all go to the head lab. This is a small. Uh, observation study, we including 162 acute stroke patients present in six to 24 hours, and in fact, volume and prenumbral region on perfusion imaging were measured by rapid software. And the mismatch DWI and PWI ratio is more, extreme, more than 1.8. And this characteristic is uh, the mean A is about 63, and the NIST is about 14, and the baseline in fact volume is 9 mu and Tmax. Uh, six second is the 103 mil. This is just on the patient there, very big mismatch uh, between DWI and DWI. And of the outcome, we have the great outcome, morphine is zero to two and about 40, uh, 46%, and very safety because symptomatic ICS is only 3%, and mortality is 10%. And the final, uh, the final in fact volume is about 24 mil. Uh, after uh, we, uh, we, we uh, repeat the MRI. And we, we did not skip the cell stop there because uh, we be looking for the subgroup of diffuse bar three. And you can see a lot of patients can, can the, the number can survive beyond 24 hours. So that's why we, uh, we, we do another um, retrospective trial we're looking for the only patient we, we do come back to me beyond 24 hours window. What outcome? Uh, because the safety, uh, we're looking for the safety and functional outcome of and then um, come back to me in very late. This patient comes up more than 24 hour window, but the mismatch per, by uh, perfusion MRI. And because it's uh, uh, for, uh, we want to, 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 to ask the, to, to, to answer the question. Should we go to the thrombectomy for a patient uh, over beyond 24 hours, but we have a mismatch? And um, uh, how about difference with the 6 to 24 hours? Uh, the study arm, we compare the rate functional outcome of 5 gate 0 2 and success to the successful reproduction. Uh, we define TC to B or 3, and deaths and symptomatic ICS. And we divide into 6 to 24 hours or beyond 24 hour window. And the study is a retrospective analysis, the data from uh, 2019 to May 2020. 
And this consecutive uh, lack vessel occlusion stroke patient received mercatory thrombectomy beyond 24 hours elective uh, perfusion rapid software. Its inclusion criteria, we, uh, we can use uh, the, the diffuse three uh, trial, at, but the onset is uh, more than six hours compared with uh, more than uh, beyond 24 hours. Exclusion criteria with the miss less than six or M2 occlusion. Uh, we have uh, 243 patients, and uh, we uh, and after we extrude, uh, and we have a 166 have the two. There's a 146 patient in six to 24 hours window, and more than 20 patients in more than 24 hours. Is the result? Uh, the result is the median. Uh, the the ADS is we really not the significant about the baseline uh, characteristic about two rep. About the uh, about the miss, uh, about the uh, occlusion side, and uh, the result. Uh, the result we can see the, but you can see the in the in the roof is the all over twenty four hours. You have the big big the, the bigger time, the difference time, uh, the dawn onset from the dawn time. It's twenty eight hours after the onset. And uh, the outcome in morphine is about two in 90 days. We compare 46%, 46.6% 46 in uh, two, two ticks to 24 hours compared with about 50% in, in 10, over 24 hours. And uh, symptomatic ICS, about 5% in six to 24 hours compared with 0% in over uh, in the 24 hours window. And the mortality is 16% uh, in uh, six to six, uh, 24 hours compared with only 3% in uh, 24 hours. So uh, for, the, for just observation study, but we can uh, conclusion the end, uh, endovascular treatment may be safe and may be feasible in patients with beyond, uh, presenting beyond 24 hours if we select to uh, uh, the mismatch DWI and DWI by rapid software. And uh, uh, that's why now we have uh, uh, this, you can see the number uh, the number uh, we uh, we do come back to me in my hospital now. Why when we change the protocol, is uh, last year we have uh, one thousand and three more than one thousand and three hundred come back to me in my center only, and uh, and now we change because we, now we change more. I, I expect to this year we have more because we change we another change because we now we do for large score now, uh, the large score we we accepted the uh, expect score. Uh, bit, uh, between uh, three to five, uh, if the patient come with us, uh, in from six to ten four hours. And uh, but the question is, uh, when you do the thrombectomy, you do IV thrombolysis, the rate recanalization about eighty, maybe ninety percent. But why the functional outcome we got only for fifty percent? Some only fourteen percent. Very very poor. It's a very very many many reasons we can explain, but. We have to look in for the hemorrhage, or we need to order substantial addition effective and maybe make the treatment may safety. And so, and uh, we, we think about from uh, neuroprotection because neuroprotection is uh, we can uh, get uh, easy to use a patient and no time window. And, but unfortunately so far, all of neuroprotection is failed to uh, to uh, to prove the uh, effective in the acute stroke treatment, so it's a very small observation study. We are looking for because it's neuroprotection is is popular use in uh, Vietnam, and it's very um, a small observation study. We can, we is a one of them is stabilizing, and we compare with uh, other neuroprotection in this trial. We include in nearly four hundred patients, and we compare uh, neuro neuro. neuro uh, civilizing and all the uh, neural protection. And uh, uh, it's a two group, it's not significant uh, different uh, to, uh, between the two group uh, compared with civilizing and uh, other uh, comparator group is other neural protection. Uh, but unfortunately, you are very lucky, you find, we found it's a significant higher uh, the patient with the uh, percentage of patient with uh, civilizing compared with other uh, neural protection. Uh, but this one is a very small observation. So, but, uh, but it's make uh, we uh, think about the, the rate of uh, ICH. 
about Brushy and Hermes. Uh, about nearly uh, double in uh, Brushy compared with Hermes. So we, the hypothesis, we, we, uh, we plan to do the uh, design the trial uh, to can adding acetylizing in select patient with a big mismatch uh, perfusion uh, in MRI or C scan perfusion and to add on serializing to uh, maybe it, uh, reduce the uh, uh, MRI resection to a great in the patient with, with, with uh, a thrombectomy. Uh, the aim of the, the, this trial, we, we want to evaluate the efficacy of serializing uh, treatment add-on uh, therapy in um, mechanical thrombectomy and uh, rehabilitation in early uh, recover uh, phase. Uh, we, we, as we do assessment the uh, uh, modified ranking scale uh, after 90 days, it's just single study, but we, we, we would like to extend to all the trial. It's um, a process professionally open, uh, open label single arm study uh, where consecutively ischemic stroke patient treated from vitamin and additional stabilizing we can compare. And um, the primary outcome we're looking for the modifying game chain uh, from zero to, to uh, two at a 90 days. So uh, we hope that we, we can uh, do this trial in the next few years and, um, uh, and we get more central Vietnam can, uh, can work there. Uh, for my conclusion, um, Come back to me in late window in stroke onset and our last week now will appear to feasible in Vietnam uh, for either zero to six hours, zero to eight hours, six to 24 hours, maybe, maybe beyond 24 hours and compare, combine your protection and regeneration therapy may be feasible and promising to maximize the uh, efficacy of two stroke treatment. So lastly, I would like to introduce all the colleagues to, uh, uh, to, uh, to join us in next, next week with the uh, biggest stroke uh, uh, annually in Vietnam International. We include uh, uh, Australian team, um, uh, European and US. And uh, it's, um, we work we, we all night in uh, Jam Center, Home Mission City. And we hope you can join us uh, in next week. Uh, thank you. Uh, for, uh, yeah.